Hello guys, how you doing? My name is the Angry Cappy Bear, and welcome back to another episode. Now today, we're going to be doing another video about some of the secret hit secrets of the tower. Some of the very secret secrets that are secret of the tower. Too many secrets, I know, puns. Ha ha ha, but yes. Today, we're going to be discussing some of the missing persons, as you can read by the subtitle, unless, you, unless you're from another country. Not judging. But yeah, the first piece we're going to talk about is someone nobody knows. In fact, it's just kind of there. But just discussing it. Maintenance logs from a systems engineer. She talks about how she's having to do tests for two people now that her mechanic buddy is gone. Everybody lost someone when the cabal attacked us. Yeah, I like the fact that this no that this has no significance, even though we've lost a lot of characters we've known. But in the beginning, you could see all the dead people. You could see all like the people who were like injured, and this kind of like. And they're, like, you don't see it in the tower, but this kind of adds on to what happened. So I like that they were making a final effort when when they came to, like, civilians being hurt to kind of add on to that. Like, story-wise. Next one we're going to be taking a look at is, um, and this is actually a really big one. The next one we're going to be looking at is the main death. The one that hurt us all is the speaker. Now in this room, if unless you're like one of those glitch masters and know everything about glitches, this you this was a popular room for people using the bureaucratic walk, which Destiny recently patched, I think. Not too sure, but yeah, this was the speaker's room. It's really interesting if you look in the back, and it's really cool if you, if you watch a view about how to get inside. They rebuilt the speaker's private quarters even after the reconstruction. I still can't believe that he's gone. He wasn't the first speaker. And he can't be the last, right? We still need a speaker, don't we? I like this, like, this might be nodding to, like, a future DLC or something like that. But I like the fact that even though he, but that even though he's dead, you know, like, they're kind of leaning back on him, like, yeah, like, like, we didn't forget, you know? And, and as you guys can see, <laughs> if you look at the bottom left, this guy's just going ham with those exotics. I'm not sure what he's doing. I looked, he was in the vault. He was just kind of chilling there, soaring through his exotics, but yeah, this that's crazy. But yeah, I like the fact that they kind of nodded back to the speaker, and it was a really big death that really led us on to the story, even though there wasn't much. <clears throat> Still, very mentionable, though. Our next missing person in the, in the Destiny series is going to be Ava Lamontine from Destiny 1. So, first we're going to hop into this courtyard, and yes, you can stand in the tree if you want to. If you like trees and you're into Destiny 1 when you played it, if that's why you're coming back. But yeah, um, yeah, going, to, going into the bazaar here, you can go over to this. If you stand on the box, you get a prompt to hold down X, or if you walk close enough, you can just hold X and it'll automatically do it. I keep expecting to show up in the bazaar and see Eva Levante here. This spot's right around where she used to set up shop. I haven't heard much about her since we reclaimed our home, other than that she survived. No one's heard from her in a while, though. See, he says this is where I used to set up shop, but if you look around the environment, this is actually a really different part of the tower from what was originally. I mean, I mean, it might be, depending on the way it's set up, it's just changed so drastically, I can hardly tell by the structure. But, yeah, like, I like Ava Labontine because unlike the new Destiny, you didn't have to stockpile, which I'm, t I'm not taking shots, this is informational. But yeah, she was a very significant character in the other Destiny, and she gave some really nice skins, which overall gave you a really nice look. And it's a long way Destiny's come. I think this used to be a terminal used by Eris Morn. Lots of notes in here about the Hive, their Prince Crota, the Taken King, Oryx. Huh. I wonder where she went off to. This spot right here is about um test is about test from uh, Destiny One, where during the first DLC the with the Fallen, she was the person you would consult for the main mission. Now the spot's kind of an Easter egg, and someone else did this in a video showing you exactly how to get here, which is a lot pop more popular than me. If you're if you're coming here because I'm, if you're coming here do, solely do because you want to watch a video. Thank you. I'm not big. But yeah, once you climb on this, you can either jump on the blue roof and it'll give you the prompt, or you can jump directly on the pipe. But yes, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, and yeah, I, and yeah, I hope you have a nice day. And I hope that, and I'm not sure if you're really interested in the lore, but I like some of these secrets, and it might be nodding to, like, a future DLC with Tess Moran coming back. 
Yes, everyone. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Peace.